well, there's no way of stopping the juggernaut of change. That's going to happen uh, without us. Uh, it doesn't really matter. That's the way things are. It's a natural force. Uh, we do have to make some hard decisions about what we do and what we don't do, and that we have to choose not to do certain things. I mean, journalists can't work 24 hours a day every day of the week it's in, and do everything that they're being asked to do these days. So they have to do their traditional reporting. They have to participate in social media. They have to produce a wire service that's available 24 hours a day. They have to be responsible for video. Uh, you name it, uh, they're involved. They're involved in it. Uh, it's a lot to ask. Uh, I don't have a problem with uh, asking a lot of the journalists, but we we have to recognize that um, that there's a limit to what any human being can do, or certainly do well. And so I think there has to be a realistic assessment at news organizations about well, what are we going to do? What are we going to give up? Uh, let's make some hard choices about that. Those are very difficult discussions uh, because in. Inevitably, there's advertising surrounding some of the things that we do, and uh, we have to. But we have to just make some decisions uh, because we're putting an enormous amount of pressure on journalists, and and for some it becomes unbearable. That doesn't mean that there isn't more that we can do. That there are there are better ways to deploy our resources. That we can reevaluate the organization, our structure, our, our structures within the newsroom. We're doing all of that. We'll continue to do that. I'm not arguing that we finish that process, and I'm not trying to relieve myself of that burden, but I think there's a burden on uh, people on the business side of the equation also to recognize that there are certain limits to what uh, what journalists can do if we want to maintain any semblance of quality journalism. Mm. Are you seeing more journalists crack now than you have previously under that pressure? Well, there are many journalists who have decided that this just isn't for them and they've left the field. Uh, I think that's concerning. Now, some, it's, they've just left the field because they don't like the internet or something like that. Well, that's too bad. Uh, but there are others who just feel that they don't have time to spend with their families, uh, that they can't live a normal life, that they don't make an adequate salary to provide for their families, things like that. And that's really concerning. And I think that we have to, we have to think about that. Those are people with a lot of experience, with a lot of expertise. Uh, it's a huge waste uh, to lose those people in our, in our field. In fact, I think it's really tragic that we would lose people like that. And so, I mean, those are people who are willing to adapt to the current environment, but there's a limit to what they can do. They can't devote 24 hours a day to their employer. They have, they have families that they have to attend to, and they have kids they have to raise, and they have to pay for their college and all of that. So um, I think that we have to recognize the kinds of pressures that we're, we're putting on people and to try to retain the, the the tremendous talent that we have in this field.